happy Saturday. So I, I put up that video yesterday. I meant to put it up Thursday and time just got away. Things have been wild. It seems like the past few days at home. So, you know, it's, it's just been a lot. And I don't want to fill this video full of that. But with that said, I appreciate if you would continue to pray for my mom. And there's also some ladies in the mature beauty community that I watch. And then, you know, there's some on Instagram. And one of them is my best friend. And just continue to just pray for them that whatever they're going through, that it will get easier and that they will get to feeling better. And I appreciate y'all so much. And with that said, happy Easter. And so I've got an unboxing. I'm not going to do it until I get to Walmart. Got to get to Walmart and do my, pick up my groceries, but I'll get it there as soon as uh, I get there. But we'll talk about what I got on my face right now. Uh, I've got on that uh, Beauty of Jozan or ever how you pronounce it from Japan or Korea on my face as a sunscreen. Of course, there is no sun today, but still, I try to wear sunscreen every day, no matter what, just because I feel like that keeps you in the habit. Now, this sunscreen does have chemical sunscreens that are not available in the USA, so therefore, it cannot say sunscreen on the tube. It just says sun relief, I believe is what it's called. Now, I am no expert on, okay, Vicki, this heat's got to go. Mode, floor. Okay, this sunscreen, as I said, is made with chemical sunscreens. It's, I'll insert a picture. I should have brought it with me, but I didn't. Anyway, it's in a white tube. Several of the younger gurus have posted about this. And of course, it is a really lovely sunscreen. It's, you know, white in texture, it's lightweight. I don't know the percentage that it's supposed to be, but I think it's supposed to be close to 50. I have worn it outside. I've never gotten any sun from it. But as I was saying, as far as chemical sunscreens from Korea or Japan, I don't know that much about them. They're considered third generation sunscreens. I don't know if they can be as harmful as our chemical sunscreens. So I'm not gonna tell you that, you know, they're the greatest thing since sliced bread. <laughs> uh, I could, because I just don't know. But I do like the sunscreen. It does not give me that heavy, that hot feeling to my face, feeling like my face is on fire or that at any moment in time, I'm going to break out into a sweat. They don't, this one does not do that to me as neither does the Skin Aqua, which also has these that I used for years and still would use, but it's just become harder to get. Or the Biore, that one in the blue tube. Now this one is more matte. So if you have dry skin, you may want to, if you want to try this one, you may want to use a more moisturizing moisturizer. If you, you know, but of course me, my skin it tends to be more uh, lean toward the oily side. As I told Melissa 55, <laughs> my friend today, I said, I think we are rare and special because it seems like most women over 60 have dry skin and we don't. So whatever reason, that's what I'm gonna say is that I'm rare and special. <laughs> I know I'm silly. So anyway, I have on that and then I applied the Laura Geller Balance and Brighton powder. Now I use the regular one, I don't use the limit illuminating one. I think that Marsha, my friend Marsha that watches me and I watch her, we support each other. She wears the illuminating one. I don't because of my oiliness. I wear just the regular one. It's not, I don't, I just know it doesn't say illuminating on the compact. 
I wear it in light because I found the medium tended to oxidize on me. And with the word oxidize, I'm going to bring up the new Lancome, Lancome Tint Adol Matte Foundation. I watched Risa Does Makeup yesterday. She had the new one. She had samples. She had been able to go to dealers and they gave her like 10 different samples um, for her to try because if you wear that foundation now, your color is not going to match because they have totally reformulated. They've put in prebiotics and, you know, hyaluronic acid, but still kept it matte. And it looked beautiful on her skin. Now she had a hard time matching and she still said that what she had didn't match. I went into the Lancome website and you could put in the brands that you use now and of course try to match it that way. Now it said normally I'm 335 I believe in that Care and Glow foundation the other one from Lancome and so that one it said that I needed 300 in and that's also when I put in Estee Lauder Double Wear Tony and also the Cover Girl 301 Outlast Buff Beige said I needed 300 in. Every one of them said I needed 300 in. Well, you know me <laughs> because I did, Risa did say in that video that the Lancome rep said that she didn't say it could oxidize, but that it could change colors. So, in other words, it oxidizes. And I understand why she don't want to say that. So, I it, since it said 300 in, if I'm buying it, or if I'm going into Sephora for a sample, or Dillard's anywhere, I'm going to tell them I want 250. I think there's a 250W and maybe something else. You know, I don't want the neutral. I, that tends to be too flat for me. I want either neutral or cool, and I don't think they have cool. I think, well, they might have in a couple of colors, but I think 250W would probably be more what I would like. So, and I forgot to put anything there. Oh, well. My blush is Luminoso from Milani. I got a little heavy, as always, on that side. All right, I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Now, I, I got me some coffee. I've not had any coffee from Talia's in a while, and I wanted some. I got the Christmas morning mocha. And no, I did not get it keto. <laughs> I'll eat low carb the rest of the day. I shouldn't have said that. No, I didn't get low carb. I will eat low carb the rest of the day, or the rest of the weekend. All right. Back to the Lancome Tint Adult. Anyway, so it oxidizes. So I say, if you want to be color match, go on the website and do that, what you currently use, see what it says, and then maybe go a shade lighter. If you want neutral, then go the shade lighter in neutral. I want warm for now. Okay, now, and I'll try to remember to uh, link Reese's video below. Now, I've not watched any more. Probably won't. Now, of course, with the foundation now having skincare ingredients in there, it's a way for them to wait, raise the price. Well, we knew that they were going to raise the price because that Care and Glow, you know. And everybody's going up right now because... You know, they say gas is going to be back to $4 by Memorial Day. You know, you know, it's just the way it is right now. You know, with, with gas going up or oil, everything goes up because of everything's made with petroleum. Anyway, I'm not going to get political. <laughs> I'm just going to say the days of getting... You know, I think there will come a time that we're going to see a $30 foundation at the grocery store. I'm, or at the drugstore, whatever. 
I, I think it's coming. It may already even be there, like that number seven. I don't know what it's priced to now. But I think soon, rather than later, we will have a $30 foundation at the drugstore. So, I don't know that, you know, I'm going to fool with even buying drugstore foundations anymore. Except for maybe that cover girl and the wet and wild. <laughs> Anything else, I'm just probably not going to fool with. Because I've just not had any luck. And I'd rather put that, I'd rather save that money and buy a higher end. Because I just have better luck with higher end foundations. I feel better in them. And I, I can't help it. It's the way I feel. All right, let's move on, Vicky. Okay, I saw this bag on Zara. I have never ordered anything from Zara. The main reason I don't order from Zara is they don't make clothing for plus size. I'm not saying they have to make plus size clothing, but I think they might sell more clothes if they did. And you know, maybe they're one of those that they don't want to sell plus size clothing. I'm not saying they have to sell up to, you know, four or five X, but it would be nice if they had a double X. Now they do say, claim they do in some things, but I have, I have yet to find anything that says double X or even an extra large because it's always marked out. Maybe there is something, I don't know. Now I have watched, of course, Lisa's Lisa Lisa D1's Zara Hauls. She does haul some beautiful things. But the main thing that I like on that website is their bags, their handbags. And I had never broke down and ordered one. Well, this one I kept seeing and I kept thinking, I really want that bag. And, you know, I don't have any white bags anymore for a summer. And I just like the way this one was shaped. It looked lightweight because I don't want anything heavy. I'm over heavy handbags. And, you know, I bought that replica bag, which I do like, and it's fine, but if you put much in it, it's way too heavy. So I decided that I would order it. Well, let me tell you again, let me go back. Okay, I had it in my cart, and then I got an email that it was out of stock. Well, so I went back in and I put on the to be notified list. Well, you know what happened there? About six hours later, I get another e email that's back in stock. Well, my thing is they wanted, they were trying to sell me that bag because I have come to terms with these companies that claim something's out of stock and then with, with less than 24 hours, they say it's back. They're playing games with you. So just remember that. I'm looking you straight where I see that little dot there. These companies are playing games with you when they say they're out of stock. But of course it worked because immediately I said, bye. <laughs> so here's what the box looks like. Now this came in two days and I did not pay any extra for shipping. This is free shipping, but I, I didn't pay any extra. So you can see Zara cover my thing. It's nicely packaged. Now I have not seen it. It's nicely packaged. And here we go. Now I did show this bag on my Instagram. I did show it to some of uh, my closer friends that I talk with on Instagram that I DM. And the main reason I wanted it was because it was like the the half moon shape and it just looks soft and it is it is so soft this was $49.90 it's got the double zipper which I absolutely love this is what it looks like on the inside we'll do the spin you know the Zara tag or whatever the spin no feet, which is fine. I mean, this is a casual bag. Um, of course, you can make these straps. If this is just a shoulder bag. I don't think... It, now, you could do it as a... I think as a... A sling bag, maybe. 
But anyway, I absolutely love this bag. And it just feels so good to the touch. And it, it, from what I can see, this is excellent quality. The zipper works fine. The strap looks beautiful. Now I can probably get it dirty if I really work at it. <laughs> but I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So now I'm set. Now, of course, my friend that's selling the replica bags, she has sent me a picture of one that I really like, but I don't need it now. I got this one. I don't, I have this one. I don't need to have a bag just for a label. <laughs> I don't. I want a bag that's comfortable and I think looks nice. And this one, I, of course, I know that we don't have a Zara anywhere in North Carolina. The closest Zara to us is Atlanta. So, I don't have to worry about, I don't think anybody having one like this, which is good. Anyway, I appreciate y'all watching and I don't care if anybody wants to buy one. And as far as I know, there are no affiliate links for Zara. I'll link it, but it won't be an affiliate link. It won't make any money off of it, but it's a beautiful bag. And I encourage any of you that like it, buy it. I don't think you'll be disappointed. So with that said, happy Easter. Talk to y'all later. Love you. Bye.